The first set of sexual harassment charges against Carlos Moore included false imprisonment and sexual battery, amongst others. Other track coaches and athletic director Joe Jenham were brought up on charges of negligent supervision of students and negligent hiring, supervision, training, and retention. The suit was filed September 2012 by seven young women only identified by their first and last initials. According to court documents, the plaintiffs claim that Coach Moore sexually harassed them for a year with text messages, inappropriate touching, and being kept against their will. After the allegations were made, Coach Moore attempted to clear the air by holding a meeting with the entire team. The meeting was recorded and handed over to the administrators. The meeting was vulgar and Moore was subsequently fired. Coach Goff, Coach Todd, and Coach Gregoire have all been taken off the case along with Department Dean Joe Jenham. Coach Goff said, when the incident occurred and I found my name listed in the LA Times and on the evening news, I wanted to counter sue. I did not spend 40 years in education to have my character challenged and when all those involved took immediate action to protect all students involved. While we could have sued, we would have won nothing, but we would have spent a lot of money protecting our integrity. When I retire, I, as well as my colleagues involved, do so with a clear heart and self-respect. The most recent lawsuit involves former men's basketball coach Alan Kavnis, softball coach and Kavnis's ex-wife Rubelina Rojas, women's soccer coach Melinda Bowen, and former softball coach Kelly Ford. According to the court documents, Kavnis, the plaintiff, claims that Rojas falsely reported that he had engaged in sexual relations with one or more students. Soon after this claim, Mount Sack and Kavnis entered into a settlement and agreement release and he then resigned. Kavnis said the agreement was to remain confidential and any request for a response was to be directed to the District Director of Human Resources. In the suit, the plaintiff alleges that the confidentiality agreement was breached. He claims that Rojas, Bowen, and Ford, the defendants, sought out potential employers and spread false accusations of sexual misconduct and pending investigations in order to make sure that his career would be destroyed. He filed a lawsuit in March 2013 against Mount Sac, Bowen, Ford, and Rojas. In this case, his complaints are for a breach of contract, violation of California Labor Code, intentional interference with contractual relations, intentional and negligent interference with prospective economic relations, and negligent and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Because of the confidentiality agreement surrounding the suit, most of the coaches involved were limited on what they could reveal about the case. Rojas refused to comment due to both personal and legal boundaries. However, Bowen gave a brief insight into the case, saying, Nothing I said was untrue. His actions were professionally unethical and harmful to our students. There is a reason why he resigned. I'd, but I'd probably talk to them and say, like, look, you should go talk to, like, someone about it because it's a serious situation. I would do the same thing. I would advise them to go talk to somebody professional about it. Probably the athletic director first. And if they don't listen, then go something higher. I think uh, my parents would be the first people I turn to. Okay. Or I try to get my whoever it is, like my friend, to turn to their parents as far as what to do first. Yeah, what's and going then on? also, considering how... Um, cool our coaches is for basketball yeah i'll probably even turn to my coaches well from our student athletes perspective i think harassment comes in a variety of forms uh, it could be sexual in nature uh, it could be in the way of verbal or physical abuse and so what we try and do every single year with our 600 plus athletes in our code of conduct is at least communicate to them that our program has a zero tolerance policy for that and certainly extend our um ability and resources to assist in anything that comes their way. Um, some of our student athletes may not be prepared and how to handle it, but certainly what we try and convey to them is that our doors are always open. They have resources amongst their peers, amongst their family, um, their coaching staff, and even our administration to be able to help them. But there's also resources on campus that uh, we have wonderful um, skilled professionals who can help in a variety of ways, and we just want to make sure we convey that to them in our code of conduct. Well, certainly when it comes to our student athletes or any of our students, our emphasis is on their success and their safety, and it's it's going to be a priority. It always is a priority for us, um, and making sure that we convey that to them and, and have them reassured that our administration and certainly our athletics program is committed to their safety, and, and certainly we're here to support them in their academic and their athletic endeavors, and we will continue to do that and provide them with the highest possible resources and opportunities that will help them to succeed here.